What's good, people? This is about that time to randomly relate, reverse rants, no hate. And I want to address something that I saw. Um, and it's kind of puzzling because I've been noticing this cause and effect type reaction for a while now. And um, I'm talking about Michael J. White. Now, Michael J. White, I like the movies that he make. I think he's a, a good martial artist. Um, some of his fights, you know, um, karate style fights are like on YouTube. I've, you know, watched them. And he's heavily into, you know, MMA. He's into boxing. And, you know, he's like, um, at least as far as training and sparring and all that kind of stuff. He's always talking about sparring and always talking about, you know, fighting in general. And um he did a video, uh, an interview with on Vlad T V. And he's been like a regular on there now. So I'm 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 watching one of the videos and Michael J. White, you know, they're talking about Adrian Broner. And Michael J. White says, you know, I really don't like that guy. I, 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 I don't like him. I, I, you know, so Vlad asked him why, you know, why you don't, why you don't like Adrian Brown? I, I just don't like him. He, he's cocky. He's, he's arrogant. Like, I, I don't, I just don't like that guy. I really don't, I, I don't like arrogant people. Okay. I don't like arrogant people. I, for the most part, arrogant people do arrogant shit. So yeah, you wind up not liking them, but for me, it's like if you direct something towards me or even if I see you do it towards other people to where it's like something you're doing towards a person. But as far as you just being arrogant and cocky about yourself, I really don't care. Now, with two different people, you got the right to feel whatever you want to feel. So I'm kind of waiting to see if he's going to say, you know, there's a time where they crossed paths and Adrian Broner did something disrespectful or said something disrespectful, whatever. But it's just basically, no, I just don't like that guy. Okay. Now, this came out of Michael J. White's mouth, not somebody else. And if it didn't, I wouldn't even did a video about it. But I I just thought it was interesting because he just straight up said, I don't like that guy. I don't like him. And I, I'm basically like, but wait, Mike. Mike Perry called you a bitch ass nigga your pussy I'll fuck you up anytime you want it bitch ass pussy ass nigga and on Vlad TV you said you know even with all of this crazy stuff that he said I actually I like Mike Perry I, I like the guy um and he was like talking about how Mike Perry's like looking out for attention like something's not clicking right in his head he's looking for attention or He's like, it's like he's reaching out and he says, well, we're both in, in Los Angeles. So, you know, we're going to cross paths. He's going to have to see me and he's going to have to answer for what he said. We're going to have that conversation. And I'm like, so wait. So Adrian Broner is someone who's done nothing to you. But you don't like him. Mike Perry is arrogant and disrespectful towards other people and say and do a lot of dumb, stupid, retarded stupid ignorant shit and called you out and disrespected you and the story of that is okay um Vlad did an interview with Kent with um Michael J. White and Michael J. White was talking about a movie that they did together called Blood and Bone and how Kimbo basically was so used to like his street fighting style that he just couldn't adjust and couldn't adapt to what he was trying to teach him, the techniques, things that they was doing in the movie. So they had to, you know, do things differently because Kimbo wasn't catching on. And I watched the video. I didn't take it like Michael J. White was trying to play Kimbo Slice out or anything like that. Um, he was just basically making it, the example he was using was like, when you fight a certain way for a long time, it's hard for a lot of people to adjust and to adapt. You know, I didn't, hear anything he said where he was trying to disrespect Kimbo now Kimbo Slice and Mike Perry was friends at least according to Mike Perry they was you know 
I don't know the relationship between the two of them, you know. Um, but he pretty much, in his statement, was coming to Kimbo Slice's defense and was, you know, calling, you know, Mike Perry was calling him a bitch. As you said, you bitch ass nigga, you pussy bitch ass nigga, I'll fuck you up anytime, any day, and all this shit. But somehow you, you like this guy. And I didn't get that. And even more recently, Brendan Schwab was did a video where he was talking about um, Michael J. White sparring with John Jones and was saying, oh, this guy, man, he's delusional. Like, he's arrogant. He thinks that he really did something. Like, man, first of all, it was nothing. And if John Jones wanted to, he could take him down with no problem and this and that. And I'm like, all right, wait. So I'm waiting to see, like, wait, okay. Did he respond to Brendan Schwab? He only talked about the situation with um, Mike Perry because Vlad brought it up. Now, he only made the comment about Adrian because Vlad brought it up. But I've been noticing whether it's boxing, whether whatever, like just certain people, they, they, they will go out their way to express how they don't like a certain person. I can't stand that guy. I hate him. But the person never did anything to you. But someone who actually calls you out, disrespects you, somehow you find it in you to like that person or you don't have that same energy towards them. And I thought about it and I said, okay, I've heard Michael Jai White speak out against racism. I've heard him say things. Um, I've heard him say things that where he, he openly spoke about racist shit and, and you know, Express a disdain and dislike towards that old situation, but, and I'm saying because people were saying, oh, like, you know, they'll say like, oh, he's probably buck dancing, he was over there buck dancing, making up, kissing Mike, Mike Perry's ass, and I, I mean, I don't understand how you like a person that disrespects you, and then even when you say he's gonna have to see me, he's gonna answer, have to have to answer for that, you know, we're gonna have to, you know, talk and have that conversation. What? Okay, so wait, 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 wait. You're going to want to have this conversation to find out why he said what he said. Yet, he's challenging you to a fight. So, you're taking the high road. Let's just say it that way. But with the guy who clearly challenged you to a fight. So, I'm like thinking, well, what if you do see him and you feel like, oh, we're going to have this conversation, but he wants to actually fight. So, you're going to kick his ass or you're going to walk away and let it go or because what's the purpose of even not like he's looking for him he's saying they're gonna cross paths how long that will be who knows right who even really cares but i'm just like not understanding like how people have so much to say about a person who's never done anything to them and then they even say like it's different because mike perry's reaching out he needs help well i think adrian broner is in a similar situation mentality wise Okay, they both have put their hands on people in public. It rather, and we know it, Mike Perry. It wasn't even provoked. This was just guy just being a bully, beating up old people, just doing dumb shit. And you said you like this guy, so I'm sitting there like, okay, it's not about judging people. Nobody's perfect, but I'm like, damn, Mike, you supposed to be this badass? I will fight anybody, type motherfucker. But you let this dude disrespect you like that. I think Adrian Broner shows a lot of childish immaturity okay um but i'm not gonna make no excuses for adrian or mike perry they told do two grown ass men who just do stupid shit both of them do ignorant dumb shit now adrian broner story the reason vlad brought it up is because it was a situation where adrian broner had like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a book bag or some shit like that he put the book bag down. Why the fuck would you put a book bag down? I don't give a fuck if we in a VIP room, whatever. That backpack is staying on me. If that's if, if I'm gonna have something in it like that. And he said he put the book bag down for a minute. He said he turns around. According to him, like for a second, he puts it turns around and the book bag is gone. So he said the only person behind him was some waitress or something. He chased her down and like like grab the like around the neck or the shoulder area or whatever like where's that book bag so pretty much he got locked up and you know the charges was pressed that he choked her and he's explaining that well it turns out one of his friends 
was playing a joke on him and took the bag. And I'm like, okay, so you hang around people that are so fucking stupid that they play in childish ways like that where they don't even understand, like, you're doing things that cause a person to lose their cool. Now, he's responsible for his own behavior. Yeah, but, like, what? how, how do you even play like that? So this man has $250,000 in, in, in a book bag, and because of a stupid prank, you lose your cool, and you end up getting locked up for that dumb shit. So, yeah, immaturity. The fact that you're even around people that do dumb shit like that, like some, you know, these, this shit is not a joke. And like, I feel like Adrian Broner is so into some like stupid shit. He, he he's like a harm to himself. He's, he's detrimental to himself. So yeah, I mean, I could look at him and say, yeah, him and Mike Perry both have like situations where like mentally something's just not clicking where the, the maturity's not there. Mike Perry's more of a bully though. Adrian Broner is just more of a. Uh, just finds himself in stupid situations and, and is, is, the way he handles it is, is is just really immature. It's ignorant shit, but same with Mike Perry. So how do you decide that Mike Perry is looking for help, but I think deep down inside he's a good guy. I don't even think he's that type of person because it make it look like Michael John White, you, you're saying you both live in L.A., and you're going to have to cross paths, but it, what it's making it look like is you thinking like, yeah, we might cross paths, and you know what? I'm not really trying to fight the guy, you know, unless he takes it there or whatever. And this guy clearly called you a bitch ass nigga, punk ass, pussy ass bitch. I'll fuck you up anytime. But you're letting that shit slide. Brendan Schwab called you delusional and was saying this guy thinks he's some martial artist. Like he he's not an MMA fighter. Let's make that clear. Clearly just dis discredited you for what you are or what you think you are to let make it known. You're nothing but an actor who knows some martial arts techniques that would get your ass kicked in a fucking fight with a real MMA guy. But pretty much, there's no energy towards him that way. And like I said, I've been noticing a lot of this shit lately with a lot of different people. Like, what the fuck is going on where you, you hate somebody, can't stand somebody who done nothing to you, but people who say things directly to you, disrespect you, you have nothing to say. So I just kind of thought that was kind of crazy. And I'm like, yeah, uh, you know, again, with me, I don't care if I like you as a person. I don't know him as a person. I like what he does as far as his martial arts movies and stuff like that. You know, and OK, that type of thing. But it's like, Mike, what the fuck are you doing, bro? I mean, let's just be real. And then, you know. I'm hearing uh, somebody made a comment about, but yo, he's like 2% black. I'm like, look, 2%, 1%, whatever. Okay, um, if I have a Chinese uncle and I walk up to somebody and say, hey, what's up, you fucking chink? I'll fuck you up. That's just some racist shit. Simple. Okay, if I got a problem and I and let's say I got a, a, a white uncle and then you fucking white cracker motherfucker. No, that's some racist shit, right? So this is why even like I'm black. I don't like to refer to people, you stupid nigga, you dumbass nigga. I don't, I don't like to do that shit. Okay, if I have an Italian uncle and I owe oh, you fucking guinea ass mother, no, that doesn't make it right for me to say that. Well, I, I got some Italian, no. And why do we have to resort to the racial slurs? Because we get upset with somebody. That's our way of handling the handling the situation. Like nah. So the fact that you hate Adrian showed a complete disdain and, 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 and hate for that guy and this came out of his mouth so I'm like but damn why you don't have that same energy towards uh, Mike Perry why you don't have a response for Brendan Schwab you know what I'm saying so if you're going to say one thing about one guy who's done nothing to you but you got two guys that completely disrespected you completely discredit you Talk about you like you ain't shit and it's nothing. And you looking forward to a conversation with this guy if and when y'all y'all cross paths. And I don't think he's like that off camera. I think pretty much he's a cool guy. It makes it sound like you're trying to not look like a straight punk, but at the same time, trying to also you are saying we're gonna have to he's gonna have to see me. You know, he's gonna have to explain himself, you know, about the situation. You know, we're gonna have that conversation conversation. Nah, bro. 
So Adrian never did nothing to you. You had no story about Adrian. There's no back, no no background story to this shit. Nothing. No history with you guys. You just don't like him because he's arrogant and cocky. But he's done nothing. But it's okay for somebody to call you a bitch ass, punk ass, pussy ass nigga. I'll fuck you up. I don't know, man. I just don't respect that energy. And pretty much, you know, when Michael Jai White said he could beat Bruce Lee, people roasted Michael Jai White. And I said, look, realistically, we don't know how well Bruce Lee could take a punch. We never, you know, he's not a professional fighter and neither is Michael Jai White. But at the same time, regardless of who you think would win or whatever, why would you roast a man for thinking he's better than another guy? You know, in fighting. Well, and that was not because it was Michael Jai White, but because, no, he does have ability. I've seen some of his shit, like I said. But people roasted his ass for saying that. And he feels like, man, I'm under attack verbally from people just because of, of, of me having confidence that I could beat Bruce Lee. The guy's 132 pounds, right? He's breaking this down. Okay, whatever. Like I said, I don't give a fuck who you think would win a fight. That's really, really hitting up. Neither here nor there is, is irrelevant. But he got roasted for that. And he felt like, damn, but for people to react that way, and it was kind of crazy, right? So again, now you come out and say something about Adrian Broner that really, to me, wasn't even necessary. I mean, even like like Junior, like Junior Jones made a comment about um, Tank Davis a couple of months ago. I don't like the guy. And he can fight, but I don't like him. I don't care for him. He said the same thing. He's cocky. He's arrogant. You know, and I forget the guy's name, but um, I forget the guy's name, but he said something in the video uh, about Junior Jones. Like, he's a hater because Junior Jones was a fucking bitch. He ain't had no chin. Thought he was Roy Jones and got fucked up. Junior Jones didn't make a response to this guy. And it's just been other videos where it's the same thing. Like I said, where guys are completely disrespecting other guys and they're not even saying shit about it, but they have something to say about somebody who's done nothing to them. I don't know, man. You know, I'm not with the clout chasing talk and all. I don't know what it was for because, you know, Junior Jones, from what I understand, was called in for this interview. He sounded like he had just woke up the way he was talking. Voices all, you know, like he had still had that frog in his throat. But, yeah, I mean, how do you show hatred and come out your face? I don't like this guy. I, I can't stand him. And then somebody else calls you out. He was never nearly as good as Tank. He's, he, 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 was a, he was a Roy Jones wannabe. He had no chin. He was a bitch. God clearly disrespects Junior Jones. I can't remember the guy's name. Um, but it was like, where's that same energy? So anyway, I just thought that was kind of interesting in a weird way. Like, you know, how... Michael Jai White conducted himself in that particular interview. I've never heard him up until that point just say something negative about a person out of nowhere. But I thought that was uncalled for. I mean, he's speaking his mind. He don't have to do anything to my liking. You know, I don't really give a fuck on a personal note. But like I said, man, we talk about shit on this channel. That's what he got a channel for. But I thought that was just kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of weird, man. And, and I didn't even respect that. And I'm like, normally when Michael Jai White speaks, he's humble. You know, he's arrogant himself and cocky because, I mean, think about it because he's all not because he said he could beat Bruce Lee. He should think he could beat Bruce Lee. Why would he think he couldn't? OK, but he's always talking about fighting, how he'll fight anybody. And I, I, I just love fighting and my temper is way worse than Mike Tyson's and I, like the stuff he say. So people can take him as being arrogant and cocky. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's like people love to just say they hate people. They can't stand people. They and it's like people who've done nothing to you so yeah that's really basically what i'm getting at well why is that same energy not there towards people who completely obliterate your name pissing shit all over you and then you you have no response but i like the guy i don't think he's like that in off camera i think he's just he's like he's looking for attention and blah 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 like you're going to be some counselor to him and y'all going to work things out it'll be really odd if they see each other and Mike Perry's like fuck talking you bitch ass nigga let's fight then what cause that's what he called you and somehow you just take it anyway that's all I'm gonna say on this video never fall in love with lies remember the truth brings hate out of people I will catch y'all on the next one